Hi, and welcome back. So I asked AI, who are the best YouTube longevity influencers? You probably will have heard of Chat GTP, but I also used Google Bard, Chatsonic, and Bing Chat to get a broader idea of what AI thinks about YouTube longevity influencers. This was my initial prompt. Who are the top five YouTube longevity influencers? Rank them in order and explain why they made the list. Now I had to use a few extra prompts such as expand on this statement or give me more details on this subject once they'd answered because sometimes they'd give maybe one sentence for a specific topic that that influencer was really well known for. Um, but all the words that you're going to hear in this video were produced by AI. Now they didn't all come up with exactly the same five in the same order. So I had to collate and code all of those to get an aggregate. So let's see what happened. Hi there. As you know, Vince has asked a team of artificial intelligence researchers to use artificial intelligence to decide on the top five YouTube longevity influencers. That's enough waffling off me. Let's jump in and see who they are. Walter Longo is at number five. He is a professor of gerontology and biological sciences at the University of Southern California and the director of the Longevity Institute. He is also the director of the Longevity and Cancer Program at the Institute of Molecular Oncology in Milan, Italy. He's a world-renowned expert on aging and age-related diseases. His research has focused on the role of diet and fasting in promoting longevity and health. He was also named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine in 2021. So on YouTube, he is probably most famous for his work on the fasting-mimicking diet. This is a five-day diet that is designed to mimic the effects of fasting without the need to actually go without food completely. The fasting mimicking diet has been shown to have several health benefits, including reducing inflammation, promoting cellular repair, and improving cognitive function. Professor Longo's research has also shown that the fasting mimicking diet can help to protect against a variety of age-related diseases, including cancer, Alzheimer's disease, and heart disease. He is obviously a strong advocate for the use of the fasting mimicking diet to promote longevity, overall health, and general well-being. He has also written a book on the fasting mimicking diet called The Longevity Diet. In addition to his work on the fasting mimicking diet, he has also conducted research on the role of stem cells in aging. He has shown that stem cells can be used to repair damaged tissues and organs and that this can help to slow down the aging process. Professor Longo is currently working on developing new stem cell-based therapies for age-related diseases. His research has had a major impact on our understanding of aging and age-related diseases. His work has shown that diet and fasting can play a significant role in promoting longevity and health. Longo's research is also helping to develop new therapies for age-related diseases. There is a YouTube channel named Volta D. Longo, PhD, but this does not appear to be hosted by Professor Longo. His notoriety on YouTube can be attributed to the multiple interviews he completes for other YouTube creators, channels such as TEDx, Rich Roll, Mark Hyman MD, Lewis Howes, and Found My Fitness, to name just a few. At number four is Brian Johnson. He is a tech entrepreneur with a deep interest in biology and aging. He has embarked on an ambitious, and some may say controversial, self-experimentation project known as Project Blueprint. His goal is to reverse the aging process and extend his lifespan by employing a range of medical interventions, lifestyle modifications, and the use of technological tools. Johnson's early career was marked by success in the software industry. He co-founded Braintree, a payment processing company that was acquired by PayPal for $800 million in 2014. With this newfound wealth, Johnson turned his attention to his passion for longevity research. Project Blueprint is a complex and multifaceted endeavor that involves a team of doctors, scientists, and experts from various fields. He undergoes regular medical tests, including blood work, MRI scans, and colonoscopies, to monitor his biological age. He also adheres to a strict diet, exercise regimen, and sleep schedule. Johnson's supplement regimen is extensive and includes over 100 different pills and supplements every day. These supplements are designed to address various aspects of aging, including cellular repair, cognitive function, and immune system health. The cost of Johnson's self-experimentation project is significant, 
it is estimated that he spends around $1 million per year on supplements, medical tests, and other expenses related to Project Blueprint. Johnson's exercise schedule is equally demanding. He wakes up at 4.30 a.m. each morning and completes a series of workouts, including strength training, cardio, and yoga. He also uses various technological tools, such as red light therapy and hyperbaric chambers, to promote cellular health and longevity. Despite the skepticism and criticism that Johnson's project has attracted, he remains committed to his goal of extending his lifespan and expanding human health span. He believes that his self-experimentation can provide valuable insights into the aging process and help others achieve their own longevity goals. Much of what he does is recorded and is then offered to the public for free through his YouTube channel, his Twitter account, and his website. Third on the list is noted scientist Rhonda Patrick. She is a renowned American scientist and researcher known for her groundbreaking work in the field of nutritional health, genomics, and human performance. With a passion for empowering people to lead healthier lives, she has gained widespread recognition for her dedication to advancing our understanding of how nutrition and lifestyle choices impact our well-being. Dr. Rhonda Patrick received her PhD in biomedical science from the University of Tennessee Health Science Center and completed her postdoctoral training at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. She has a diverse academic background with a focus on cancer biology, neuroscience, and aging. One of the most notable aspects of Dr. Rhonda Patrick's career is her role as the creator and host of the popular podcast and YouTube channel called Found My Fitness. Through these platforms, she disseminates complex scientific information in an accessible and engaging manner, helping people make informed decisions about their health and lifestyle choices. She covers a wide range of topics, including nutrition, exercise, sleep, and the latest research in genomics and longevity. Her dedication to translating scientific research into practical advice has earned her a dedicated following and significant recognition in the health and wellness community. Her ability to communicate complex scientific concepts in an understandable way has made her a trusted source of information for those seeking evidence-based guidance on improving their health. Dr. Patrick's research has contributed to our understanding of how nutrients, hormones, and genetic factors influence various aspects of human health. She has published numerous peer-reviewed papers in prestigious scientific journals and has made significant contributions to the field of aging and longevity research. One of her most notable achievements is her groundbreaking work on the role of the hormone vitamin D in various bodily functions, including immune system regulation and DNA repair. This research has significant implications for the prevention and treatment of various diseases, including cancer. Furthermore, Dr. Patrick has collaborated with other prominent scientists and health experts, to further explore the connections between nutrition, genetics, and overall well-being. Her advocacy for personalized health interventions, based on an individual's unique genetic makeup, has gained attention and raised awareness about the importance of tailoring health recommendations to each person's specific needs. As previously stated, she has her own extremely successful podcast and YouTube channel, but has also made many appearances on other YouTube channels such as Andrew Huberman, Peter Attia, Cameron Haynes, and she is a regular on Joe Rogan's channel. Second on our list is Professor Andrew Huberman. Andrew Huberman is a neuroscientist and tenured professor in the Department of Neurobiology and, by courtesy, Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at Stanford University School of Medicine. He is also the host of the Huberman Lab podcast, which is the number one health and fitness podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Huberman's research focuses on the neural circuits that underlie vision, learning, and memory. He has made significant contributions to our understanding of how the brain processes visual information, how we learn new things, and how we form memories. Huberman is also interested in the neural basis of mental health disorders, such as anxiety and depression. He is using his knowledge of neuroscience to develop new treatments for these disorders, Huberman is a highly respected scientist and communicator. He has published over 100 scientific papers in prestigious journals and has given numerous presentations at scientific conferences. He is also a popular speaker on the topic of neuroscience and has appeared on numerous podcasts and television shows. Huberman is passionate about making neuroscience accessible to the public. He believes that everyone should have a basic understanding of how the brain works – and he is committed to making his research as accessible as possible. Huberman is also a strong advocate for the use of technology to promote mental health.
He believes that technology can be used to deliver mental health interventions to people who would not otherwise have access to them. He is currently developing a mobile app that uses virtual reality to deliver cognitive behavioral therapy for anxiety. Here are some of Andrew Huberman's most notable achievements. He discovered a new type of neuron in the visual cortex that is important for processing motion information. He also developed a new method for studying the neural circuits that underlie learning and memory. Uh, he has also identified a new neural circuit that is involved in anxiety, and he developed a new virtual reality therapy for anxiety. As previously stated, he has his own very successful podcast and YouTube channel, but has also made many appearances on other YouTube channels such as Chris Williamson, Lex Fridman, Rich Roll, Tim Ferriss, Mike Tyson, Jordan Peterson, and he is a regular on Joel Rogan's channel. Top of that list is Dr. Pieratia. He's a prominent figure in fields of health care, longevity, and human performance. He is a physician, researcher, and speaker known for his work in the areas of nutrition, metabolic health, and longevity. And his career has been marked by a relentless pursuit of knowledge and a commitment to improving human health and lifespan. Dr. Peter Adair and his medical degree from Stanford University and completed his residency in surgery at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. After his surgical training, he continued to expand his medical knowledge by delving into the study of human metabolism and nutrition. He has a deep interest in the factors that influence longevity and is driven by a desire to help people lead healthier, longer lives. One of Dr. Adair's notable areas of study is the impact of nutrition and diet on health and longevity. He has explored topics such as the ketogenic diet, fasting, and the role of metabolic health in preventing chronic diseases. His research and insights have contributed to a better understanding of how dietary choices can impact overall well-being. And he was also known for his podcast, The Drive, where he engages in in-depth discussions with experts from various fields, including medicine, nutrition, and fitness. These conversations provide valuable insights into the latest research and discoveries related to human health and performance. One of the key themes in Peter Adder's work is the concept of health span, which focuses on extending the period of life where individuals can enjoy their health and well-being. He advocates for a holistic approach to health that encompasses not only nutrition, but also exercise, sleep, stress management, and all lifestyle factors. Here are some of Adair's most notable achievements. He founded the Adair Health Podcast which is one of the most popular podcasts on longevity medicine. He also wrote the book The drive Through Podcast, which is a guide to healthy eating and living, and he has been featured in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and other publications. As previously stated, he is his own extremely successful podcast and YouTube channel, but has also made many appearances on other YouTube channels such as Thomas DeLair, Rich Rowe, Dr. Rangan Chatterjee, Lewis Howes, Redefining Medicine, Jordan Pearson, Oprah, Joe Rogan, and he has also recently published a second book called Outlive, The Science and Art of Longevity. I hope you found that interesting and informative, hopefully both. Honourable mentions of those who didn't quite make the list this time are David Sinclair, PhD, Paul Saladino, MD, and Eric Berg, DC. Now, please let the artificial intelligence team know what you thought of our choices. Were they in the right order? And who would you add to the list? Please write just one name in the comments section of the YouTube video. So I also hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, but why did I do this? I've made some notes. It's a known fact that as we age, we need to keep challenging ourselves, both physically and mentally. For the mental side, lots of theories have been put forward that older people who engage in new ventures, such as further education, so gaining a degree or some kind of uh, academic qualification helps, uh, learning a new language, learning to play an instrument or learning a new skill tend to have a better outcome when it comes to cognitive decline. Some YouTubers um, will write a script for a video and then will talk to the camera and then just send that off to a virtual assistant, maybe someone in the Philippines, India or Indonesia, and get them to chop it up, do all the editing, adjust all the audio levels, add all the B-roll and add music if necessary, and then send back um, the finished product. All the videos that I've done to date have been produced 100% by me. Uh, and I can hear a lot of you say now that explains a lot. Um, but let me know in the comment section, 
do you like the AI type video? Would you like me to use it in the future? Obviously not all of my videos, um, maybe one a month or maybe one every six weeks. More specifically, what type of longevity topic questions would you like me to ask AI? And then I can produce uh, the videos from that. Also, the length of the video. I think it probably was a little bit too long. I can ask AI to um, limit the length of time or the amount of words that it produces. So it's made a little bit more succinct. Let me know in the comments below what topics you'd like me to cover. And also, was the video too long? Was it too short? Or do you think it was just about the right length? 